Hey y'all, so we're back for another session in our altered book. And before I turn the camera on, I was thinking to myself, I'm going to have to do some of these sessions off camera because I got quite a few pages left here and I want to be able to do some other projects as well and do some other books and stuff. So I think I'll do some off camera, then do some flips and then do some on as well. So you guys will see the progress, but I'll move through it a little bit more quickly. So how's everyone doing? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel and our project will continue. Today I'm going to work with some, um, two things. This is a jelly print um, on the onion skin. And so I'm going to use this. And then I have some other of my texting and what have you on various papers. I have some more printouts here, so I don't know. I may work with some of these. And then also, this is, you know, one of the jelly prints we did together using the, um, the mica and what have you. And then I've been working on my new printables for um, May, I guess what I'm looking at. So I kind of wanted to play with this because I like this orientation. I wanted to see how this would go. And um, I may, where my other? And I may um, work some of my other things in here. So let's just get going. This is kind of the theme for this one. I'm looking at my other little stash over here so I can see what I want to do. So we'll just get started. And I have some stamping. I've been working with uh, wax seals. So I think I'll put some of that on there. We'll see. Um, just trying to get myself organized here, I think. I want to see, decide what from the um, my printables this month I want to use. I kind of felt like, kind of liking some of the black and white going on there. Some of this could be good too with this one. We'll see. this one too. I think I'll, this will be, I think I'll do this one in, in the next page spread. Okay. I think I'm going to put this to the side so I can keep this in mind. And uh, we'll see. Alrighty. You guys have been enjoying the printables. Thanks a lot for, you know, trying them out and telling me how much you love them. I appreciate it. I love doing them. So it's just another way to create and um, share a lot of my loads of jelly prints and ephemera and everything else that, seem, that, that I seem to have. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to take some of this away. I'm gonna tear, I want to kind of tear it so that it kind of goes uneven like that. Perfect. Because I think what I'll do is put this down. Maybe kind of do this over it. That could be kind of cool. So. Let's see. Figure this out. Hmm. Alrighty, yeah. Let's see how that works. Okay, do I want it that way or do I want it this way? <laughs> I think I like it better that way. Boy, here we go. <laughs> Questions start. Okay, let's go ahead and put 
glue down, get a good layer here. Okay. Kind of have this like that. It's good. I love, love, love um, jelly printing on the tissue paper because you get so much paint coverage. When you put it down, it just, oh, it just disappears onto the page. Let's get this. Yeah, next month's printables are going to be doorways and documents. <laughs> Cause I have lots of different documents, but um, you know me uh, and my old, my love of old walls. You know, nothing changes when I go when I travel. I'm always taking pictures of old walls and doorways. I just love them. I don't know what it is about it, but I just love them. So I started going back through my stash of things and I'm still looking for some of my um, pictures. I have them on different external hard drives. So just organizing, creating as a go. So, okay, so I like that. that that's a nice mixture. So let me see, I have some stamps here. Figure out where I want to. I want to do these. I want that one. I think I'm gonna use this sort of kind of down the middle like that, which I like. Let me just get rid of some of this across the top. So I think I'll put that there. I like that. Sort of figure these stamps and stuff out, but I definitely like that. And put that there like that. And then, hmm, I think I'm kind of want to maybe put this at the top. I just like the colors of this. Decisions, decisions, I tell you. I think I'm going to stamp. I think I'm going to use this stamp and use the. Let me see. Um, the spice chai. I love this because this color, the spice chai, and this stays on. This is a really good brown. It's it's it's. It's a light brown. It seems like it blends really well with a lot of my sort of backgrounds. It's not too much. So I think what I'm going to do is maybe right in this area, put this stamp. Okay. I like that. So then... Which other stamp? I kind of like this blue. But I might need something else. 
think I might use this stamp over on the other side there. Actually, I have a, a box here. That's what I'm digging in. Of these stamps. These, uh... What do you call them? These labels. Just looking... kind of cool. I want something to mix in with that right there. And I kind of want to put this on here. Maybe something like that. You never quite know with collaging, do you? <clears throat> Until it all comes together. I think I'm going to go ahead and commit this because if I don't make a commitment to something, <clears throat> you can take these, these little pieces will just float around your, your collage forever. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and put this like there maybe. And then I do like this one here. I'll put that up there too. Then I think what I'm going to do is that right there okay oh yeah I'm liking that okay okay this is good <laughs> hmm have these stamps try put those on on this line Perfect. Love those. So that, um, that adds to it. But I definitely am going to go for the, um, Robin, use your words, your words. I'm going to use the wax. I'm going to use the wax, so where are my, I'm going to do it directly on, yeah. let's do it directly on the page, and then this can dry and I'll go to the other side. I like to use the, um, the Herbin, I get these when I go to. France. I, I just buy them there, but I'm sure you can get them. Any good stationer have them. So let's see. Where do I want? Kind of want to. Yeah, there we go. And for those who haven't used the wax sticks, you just kind of roll them, let the, um, let the flame kind of roll around the, the, the stick so that you kind of get an even burn. Okay, there we go there and I have one of my seals is actually just kind of a blank like that and before this dries I can literally take just a little piece of something like like this and just put it right down in there so that you know you can just kind of get anything sort of anchored into the wax and you can do you know you can use dried flowers small feathers I mean you could use literally anything so I just embedded one of my scripts in there and I love it oh I love it so that'll dry 
We'll let that finish curing and we'll go to the other side. That's perfect. So just want that bit of red and that little pop. Oh, I love that. And it's just like, you know, sometimes it's just the simplest of combinations or just the right something that will make your collage come all together. So now let's go to this side. I'm going to put it on here like that. So let me go ahead and get this torn. Yeah, I love working with the, um, the waxes. I use the wax sticks and I also use these, the wax, the little, you know, nuggets. Those you have to do over a warmer. <clears throat> and uh, so I use that when I'm doing a lot of something, but just a quick things like that. I love those sticks. Love them. Okay. So this is good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to match the same, the same shape, the same width of this one over here. Kind of gives a similar look to our page spread. So. Okay, that should do it. Okay, let's see. I need to take a little bit more off. Just a little bit. Take it here, a little narrower. Guess I'm making it too narrow, not enough to grab anything. <laughs> What's going on here? <clears throat> Let me just double check here. First of all, let me just get some of this off the top. So I know what I'm doing. Okay. So from there. <clears throat> yeah, okay, I see. I can take a chunk more off. Still be pretty safe. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do it like this so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so alrighty, that's good. On the bottom about there. Alrighty. Perfect. Now, let's see what else I want to do with this one. This page. Alright. Let's go. Let's see. Oh, I like that. See, when you get the width right, then it looks, the page spread matches up much better. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put the work right on the page here. Just kind of, you know, getting the parameters of my glue because in this case, I'll just put the glue right on the page here. Where I get a good Um, coating. Seems like my mind is pretty settled right through here. I notice I'm not really talkative and I think it's because I'm just really kind of chilled out. I'm, I don't know. I'm just feeling really 
relaxed and you know this this lockdown can and sometimes you just feel like ah <laughs> let me out <laughs> and other times you're just like you know all is well all will be well so I think that's how I'm feeling right now I'm just really feeling very peaceful and relaxed so when I'm like that a lot of times I can really just and I think also you know we've just been we've had the opportunity to be so into our work in our studios and what have you that I think that also creates a rhythm too you know and you just have the joy of doing your work and maybe blocking other things out could be some of that too <laughs> So, yep, I'm just enjoying the creative process. I must say, it's looking good. I don't know if it's enough down there. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Pull that edge up a little bit. It's on that edge. Oh, I really like this page here. I just did. <laughs> it's always a good sign when you're working on a collage or something, a piece, you know, your work, and then you keep looking at it like, oh, seems like it's, I do that too. You know, I'll look and think, seems like it's missing something or what else do I need to do? But that one, I'm feeling pretty good about. Okay. All righty. Oh, I love this. And this is one of my prints that really kind of mimics a, a really like an old wall. Like um, like this one, this technique that I do, it, it's like graffiti. The whole idea is for it to look like you have a print on there and then, you know, you, some of it got torn away. And I do that with the way that um, I pull the paper off of the print when it's still... Um, when it's still like wet um, from the plate. But anyway, yeah, I love that. Okay, so let's see. We will now, let's figure out. Let's, well, I had this sitting over there. This is a, a sort of a stamp thing that I made with, kind of like did it as a collage itself. So I'm gonna put that down. This, uh, I think I'm gonna use the, uh, glitter glue because I did this on on paper and it's it's kind of thick you know this paper so when it's like that I like to just go ahead and put this glitter glue down so that I know that it'll it'll adhere and stay on the page okay so yeah, let's put this like right there. Okay. Yeah, I like that there. Yeah, I started kind of making these two where there's just kind of like a collection of a lot of different stamps on there. And then this is like some of my uh, onion skin paper. That's from one of the the kit, um, the printables this month. I used it on the other page. It was just a little piece. And then stamp them up. So you can make these kind of collage stamps too. So you just have them sort of ready to go into the collage. Kind of as a stamp or a seal itself, you know. Okay. Alrighty, I like that. Yeah, these already are working well. And I guess, you know, I knew I was kind of going to this. So I think in my mind, I knew I, that red. It's amazing a lot of times when you're working, it's more just sort of, you know, intuitive. And that's why I actually call this my collaging technique, intuitive collage. Because I know noticed that a lot of the way my pages come together, it's really a lot of intuition. It's not like I'm sitting here like studying it to think, you know, put this here and put that there kind of thing. It just sort of starts coming together intuitively. So 
So I'm going to use that stamp. That's one of the ones I've made. One of my um, patrons, she sent me a bunch of things, digital. And um, let's see, Linda. Thank you, Linda. You sent me these stamps. And um, so I've started, I've printed them out on onion skin and then I make them into so these additional stamps. Put that there. So this is, this is, I backed it on um, Kozo paper, which is a thin paper. You see how it just basically disappeared there? So it just disappeared. It's feathered there. I like that. So we can make our stamps, of course. Just different ways of creating the collage. Go ahead and put this one down. Like that. Okay, let's see. Okay, what else do I want to do here? I got more, but I'm trying to decide if I'm going to... I feel like I want to do some stamping, but I'm not quite sure which one I want to use. I'll use that one and I guess I should do it in the black hmm I could also do it sometimes I do these signature things in the blue there is maybe I'll use like um, midnight blue Just go ahead and put this down here Okay, great. Okay, perfect, because that just kind of blends in, but not too much. Kind of goes in that spot there. Okay, so there's something else I was thinking I was going to do. Oh, I know. I think I'm going to use this piece here. This is from an old document that was given to me. I think Jude, you sent this to me from New Zealand. I want to say I kind of want to put this in. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this I'm going to make this a stamp. Like a seal type. To add up in this corner. I think that'll be nice. So I'm going to take this bottom part here. I think I'll take about about that much of it. Yep. And let's get this off. Let's see if I can grab this little bit without it sliding too much. Ah, perfect. Okay. I want to put something up in this corner like this, but I didn't want to necessarily... I want it to still be translucent. Oh, I like that. Yeah, you see the difference between the two? This looks like, like a document or something, you know? And this right here looks like an old kind of graffiti wall, you know, or something where there's just a lot of play going on there. I like that like it yeah so what I'm going to do next week I'm going to have I know I have some more 
jelly printing tutorials coming up. I don't think it'll be next week because we'll keep on, I'll keep on showing you various techniques there too. But I think what I'm going to do this week is I'm going to, I love that. I'm going to um, get caught up on a few of these signatures and then I'll show you and then I'll do one with you. And then I think the following week we'll do some more printing, which we'll is kind of play between the two. So now I need to stamp this. I think I'm going to use in the black. I have this little grouping of stamps here. Around <clears throat> these right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and put that down. Oh, good. <clears throat> so that gave a nice sort of light impression. I like that not to put too much on a stamp so it doesn't look, come on, let's see, so it doesn't look too over the top, but you know, we get some cancellation <clears throat> going there. And I think we could actually use this one as well, you know, my favorite one, but I'm just going to take, I'm just going to get, I'm not going to do it. I just want to get the end of it. I have some of the ones that are just that, but then they always, I don't know, they don't necessarily come out the correct, maybe I could get that one right there. That one may work. Let's try it. They don't always come out the right way, sort of look a little disjointed. I feel like they have to be stuck next to something. I guess I could stick them next to this one I have there. That's an idea. So let me see if I can just kind of make it extend off of that one. So it doesn't, you know, it needs to look like it belongs to something. And I never seem to get these right. Okay, there we go. That's better. Okay, that's better. All right, so let's see. I think that's looking good. I think this is finished as well. I like it. Let's see. Where are my ink pens? I have a number of this rich. Let's see this red one. Okay. Just kind of want to put a little something right here on. Like this line is like where you write things. Put a little text there. Cool. take a look at it all yep okay I think we're done I like it I like these pages I tell you doing this I'm, I'm enjoying this book I know you guys a lot of you've reached out and told me that you're working through yours some of you guys are almost done you said you've been working <laughs> ahead which is smart <laughs> um I think someone even said they're on to their next one, starting their second one. I'm like, ah, I got to catch up. <laughs> but I really like the idea of this. Sort of this whole idea of this, you know, this will just be a really beautiful collection when we're done. Of just these wonderful pages that are all sort of mail art, you know, distant places, sort of like travel logs. But sort of done in this sort of abstract style, which I'm really liking. Like, you know, you look at the page and you're not necessarily... You can identify with it, but you're not necessarily seeing a specific story. It's like you get to kind of intuit the story. And I like that. I like that way of doing collages as well. So there we have it. Another page spread. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Thank you for all your comments. I definitely always try to get to all of them. If I haven't answered something, it's just because I didn't see it. Sometimes I come back days later. 
and I'll see some and they'll be sitting there from a couple of days. And I'm like, how come I didn't see these? So just know that I do appreciate it. I always look forward to commenting. And yeah, we're just going to keep on working through this. And um, I've got some more things in store, some fun kind of projects that we'll just kind of keep on doing. Um, so this book project, you know, series on. So there we have it. Okay, guys, love you all. Um, remember to thumbs up the video if you liked it. Um, join me over here and subscribe if you're new to the channel and to our group of really incredible creators. So many of you guys are just so awesome. I mean, all of you are. <laughs> you know, it's just like when I see your work and everything, it just like blows me away. It's like, gosh, it's good stuff. So let's see. I love that up there. All right, guys. Well, take care. Love you all. And I will see you again next week. All righty. Bye-bye.